Hey guys, my name's Jamin. This is my YouTube channel, PC Monkey, where I try to bring you a wide variety of computer do-it-yourself upgrade and repair videos. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix a computer that has no internet because it can't find any Wi-Fi options to sign on to. I'm gonna be using a Lenovo laptop in this video, but the principle and the same route that you would go about to fix this is the same for most computers. Before we get started, guys, a quick shout out to my sponsor who makes a lot of my videos possible, NiceHash. NiceHash is the world's largest hash power marketplace. What that means for you is you can now rent out your computer's unused and idle power online to people who mine cryptocurrency and they pay you for that in Bitcoin. It's a great way to earn some side money with no work. It's a great way to start investigating the world of crypto without risking an investment. You can check them out more here or I'll fill you in more about them at the end of the video. Now let's get into the project. To my side, I have a Lenovo laptop computer that's unable to sign on to Wi-Fi. We'll switch over to that and I'll show you what's happening. Okay, so here's a situation we're looking at. I'm currently on a Windows 10 desktop. This is a brand new installation of Windows 10, which is why I'm in this situation. You may be in this situation for other reasons, but regardless of why we're here, these are the steps you'd follow to remedy this no Wi-Fi situation. Go to the bottom right of your screen. You see there's no Wi-Fi icons here. Usually that's where you would tap on the Wi-Fi icon. Um, and then a menu would pop up and you would select your Wi-Fi connection. Also, if you use this button to expand it, there's still no Wi-Fi. So that's a dead end here. The next thing you would do is go over to your search bar, bottom left, and type in Wi-Fi settings. As you see here, after typing in Wi-Fi settings, nothing comes up. Um, so the only option is to search for web results. I'm gonna hit enter. When you hit enter, you get this error message, you're not connected. And we know we're not connected, but we can't find any way of connecting to Wi-Fi. So just to show you again, we're gonna run Windows Network Diagnostics right here. We're gonna click on that. And then Windows will try to diagnose why we don't have Wi-Fi. Here's its conclusion. Install a driver for your network adapter. Windows did not detect a properly installed network adapter. If you have a network adapter, you need to reinstall the driver. So that's where we're at. We can't get Wi-Fi. Now we have to go download the correct driver for this computer. Okay, so that's the problem with the laptop computer. In order to find the Wi-Fi adapter, I need another working computer now to go on to to find that adapter. Okay, so in order to find the correct Wi-Fi adapter for my Lenovo computer, I've come to the Lenovo support site. I'll have this address below in the description. Every brand of computer has one. And I'll show you now how you navigate these sites to find the right Wi-Fi adapter. As stated here, select a product family. The first thing I do is tell them what sort of device I have. I have a PC, laptops, tablets, desktop. So this is what I wanna select. In other cases, when you need support and you're looking for items or software that your computer needs, if you're currently on the computer that you're trying to find support for, you would click on this button, detect product. That would quickly scan the computer that you're working on now and tell you what items are needed for it. But for me, I'm currently on a Dell computer looking for a Wi-Fi adapter for the Lenovo IdeaPad I have off to the side that's not connecting to the internet. So instead of clicking on detect product, because it's going to detect the wrong computer, it's going to give me the wrong software, I'm going to click on view PC support. So I'll click there and I'll type in what computer I have. So I have an IdeaPad 3 15 IAU7. I click that in and it finds my computer. So I'll click on that. So now I'm at my product homepage. It's the exact computer that I have. There's all sorts of things that I can get, guides, manuals, how-to, troubleshoot, diagnostics, parts, trade-in. Uh, but up here where it says drivers and software, this is what I, I wanna click on here. So we're gonna click on drivers and software. And then again, just like before, this option, automatic update. If I was on the computer that I'm looking to update drivers for, I would click on scan now and it would detect which drivers are out of date. It would automatically update those. But again, I'm not on that computer, so I wanna do manual update. Click select drivers to manually select and download. So this is what I want here. So I'll click on this, select drivers. And these are the options I have. Uh, audio, BIOS, Bluetooth. As you see here down in the bottom left, networking, wireless, LAN, and there's one option. So I'm gonna click on that. And right here, this is the driver that I want. 
So in order to download this driver, I'm going to plug in my USB now to one of my USB ports and I'm going to click on the download button. There it is. I'm going to click on the file so it takes me to where that item is. And here it is in my downloads. So on the left, I'm going to scroll down. There's my USB drive. That's where I want it. I'm going to click and drag this over to my USB. And now it's done. So now I'm going to take my USB out of my computer. And I'm going to bring this over to my Lenovo and install the driver. Okay, so here we are back at our computer where we left it. It wants us to install a driver for our, our network adapter. So we're going to close out of this stuff. And we're going to plug in our USB with the correct driver on it. So here it is, there's our driver. We're gonna double click on it to install. It asks, do you want to allow this app to make changes? Yes, we do, I'll click on yes. Select the language, I have English, I hit okay. Accept the terms and conditions, and then hit next. And instead of extract only, I want to install this driver. So I'm gonna leave it on install, I'm gonna hit next. Click install to continue with installation. Click install. This should be a fairly quick install. It's a very small piece of software. And there we go. WLAN driver installed successfully. We'll click OK. And then we'll click on finish. Now we're going to unplug our USB. We don't need that anymore. And now if you go down to your bottom left search bar, we'll type in Wi-Fi. And there it is, Wi-Fi settings. Now we click on Wi-Fi settings, click on show available networks, and there you are. Now you can select your correct Wi-Fi network to actually sign on to the internet. Okay, so that's how you would fix a computer with that problem. If there were any questions, guys, check out the FAQs in the description below. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you don't see a question there, please leave it. I do try to get back to those a couple times a day at least. As always, please remember to like, share if this helped you out, if you think it'll help someone else out. And if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer repair tutorials like this, please subscribe. And as promised in the beginning of the video, a few extra words now on my sponsor, NiceHash. So as mentioned before guys, NiceHash is the world's largest hash power marketplace. And again, what that means is you can take your idle and unused computer power and rent it out online to people who mine crypto and they pay for that in Bitcoin. It is a great way to earn side money and it's a great way to investigate the world of crypto without risking an investment. Instead of putting your own money into crypto to buy it, you're using a computer you already own. And most of us, we own computers far more powerful than anything we need day to day. And this is a great way to take that idle power and put it to use. NiceHash is kind of a one-stop shop for all things crypto. You can store your money on their wallets. Uh, you can use their exchange feature to trade for other cryptocurrencies. You can use their research tools to investigate and learn about other cryptocurrencies, see what they're doing. And in addition to hooking your computer up and earning side money, you can also take a stab yourself at mining using their quick mining tool and some other mining features. So it's a great thing to use. It's a great thing to know in the world of crypto. You can check them out here again or leave me a comment. I'll try to help you guys out. Thanks so much for watching my video, guys, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.